Another day, another Burke. I'm excited for two reasons. Number one, we got new merch coming out. We got the diner design. We haven't got them yet. They're still being manufactured, but they should be dropping hopefully October, maybe at the end of this month. I'll let you guys know on the date, but we got a bunch of those t-shirts dropping that you guys have been hyped about. And number two, your boy's gonna pick up a daily today. I'm not gonna say too much about it. It's nothing crazy, crazy, cause you know, pockets just be looking like this. I'm gonna fuck just whipped out a $1,500 okay, phone. Okay, okay, well, Damn. Minus, minus the phone. New camera. Yes. Hey, hold on, hold, hold on. Before we go, this is a brand new camera. Hold on, I, let me show them the camera. Look at you beautiful people. The lens is holding you all back, though. I'm not gonna lie with quality. But that being said, we're going to get the new car, so. <laughs> That's what I gotta say. You know why? Because we have just bought another BMW. That's two BMWs on one chain. We got the E92, the piece of shit shit bag. We got another one. What is this key you are wondering? Look, we can't afford expensive cars around here, so that's why I can't get a Mark V Super like I've been chatting about. I, look, I don't make enough money to be getting crazy shit, but we got us a daily. Here's hint number one. So, off rip, my BMW boys know it's like 1999 to like 2006 era. Look, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I see one on Instagram that was modded, and I was like, yo, that bitch is gangster. I need it for a daily. I've been nonstop talking about it to Frank for a minute, and we found the perfect one. Man, what? Hey, hey, yo kids that you picked up from soccer, I got you. We got back seats, we got a moonroof. Man, come on, I'm psyched. Dude, it's gonna match the 335 perfect when we're done with it. Look, we got gray seats, we got a pop-out cup holder that works. Bro, moonroof goes crazy. We got all the room we need. Literally, 335, great. But we got room in the X3, baby. It's a 2006 BMW X3 Sport. It's got 120,000 miles on it. Got it for $6,500. Not bad, not bad. If y'all are mad about me buying this as a daily, that means we're just gonna go balls to walls on 335. 335, we're gonna see 10. We'll definitely see low 11s from 335 this year. But this is gonna be great for going to work, keeping miles off 335. So obviously, none of you guys probably really care. There's probably a really small niche of people who care about the X3. But we're gonna put it on some 20 inch wheels. We're gonna put lowering springs on it. We're gonna tint the shit out of it. We're definitely gonna put one of the Apple CarPlays from Shop Webby's on there because that's a must in all these cars. Nah, in my opinion, this is the seller. Wait till y'all see this. This is crazy. So, we got Man. a clean ass M54 motor in here. Super reliable, supposedly. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, don't flame me too hard. Give him like a month before you flame him. I've been flaming him enough all day. I told him I was gonna follow him to soccer practice. He's gotta drop the kids off, stepdad things. Everyone comment W Soccer Stepdad. Put that in the chat. It's gonna be baller. Trust me. Trust the process. You guys will like this car if you don't like it right now. Trust. It's like three days later since we picked up the X3. I dropped the 335 off last night to get an alignment because ever since me and Frank tore apart the whole car, the whole thing's been all out of whack. So I got bald front tires, but at least it'll drive straight. All right, we are back in the 335. Everything should be good now, I think. I'm texting! God. But we got Frank driving the X3 right now. Good vibes. It's crazy seeing both my cars on the road like this. Creeping, look who crawling, still balling in the mix. It's that six six long dick slim nigga sticking your chin. Man, what you think of the Beamer truck? Wow. Actually? Wow. Track hawk. This thing is so low, bro. I was scraping. Like, I know. I seen that. Frank was actually keeping up with the old girl. I ain't gonna lie. It's driving my dog. All right. So as you guys know, shopwebbies.com is the best place to get Apple CarPlays. And my second most viewed video ever on this entire channel is putting the Apple CarPlay in my E92. This is the OEM head unit that comes with your BMW E9X. And they're just super outdated. You don't even get Bluetooth. You don't get Apple CarPlay. You don't get none of that shit. So useless. The second one are the first ever Apple CarPlay head unit that's ever came out for these cars. It's a Linux driven head unit. So these are sweet 8.8 inch Apple CarPlay. I've been using this for a minute. It comes with backup camera capabilities and shit. All your basic Apple CarPlay needs, just no mirroring. So you can't mirror like Netflix and YouTube and shit like that. So this is like our budget option for Apple CarPlay. Then just recently we partnered with a company who has a Android powered head unit. So you can either get one in this massive screen for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, or you can get one that has the same Android Android processor, which works much faster than the Linux in this size. So massive flat screen of a head unit. It looks absurd. So as you guys see, we've got the whole inside ripped out. So the trim is out, the radio is out, the little AC switches are out. If you guys want to learn how to do that, how to take it all out, you guys can go back and watch my first Apple CarPlay video and I show how to take it all out. Or anywhere on YouTube will show you how to take it out. That being said, we have every single thing that we need out of the car, out of the car. So now it's just time to put it all back in. All right, so this is everything that comes in the kit. A cluster of wires pretty much, but I, I promise you it's not that scary. We're gonna make this install 
all seems super easy. You get the screen, you get the mount, and then you get another mount. The first thing you want to grab is your ginormous bundle of wires that we're going to enjoy putting in. So the first cable we're going to install is this little microphone. So you just want to pry off this little side piece just like that. It's got a little 3M adhesive that will pull off and put it right here. So you're going to have to drop this panel off down here. A bunch of little torques, there's three of them. All right, so once you get this panel off and this panel off, you want to take your wire, pass it through here. So then from there, you want to take this, get it up through here. A little deep in this. Oh, we balls deep in there. All right, you want to pull it tight right there. And then you can go ahead and throw these panels back up because that's the only thing we're going to need to run through there. Clean up as you go. It's like wipe it. You wipe three times, so now you only need to do it twice. All right, so we got this cable right up to the top where we need it. And then this comes in the kit. So you just want to come in the kit. Frank comes in the kit, too. He'll install it for you. You want to grab the little harness that says microphone on it. So you take this, plug it in right there, and then keep it right there. Don't touch it. It's a fire. It's locked. So the next thing you want to do, you take the antenna, right? And then you peel it off. There's not a lot of space back here. So we got the antenna mounted up there. Next thing, we got this little speaker. We're throwing it over here because, again, no room, but we got to make room. All right, so we're sticking the speaker up in here. It's a little difficult to see. Last but not least, we have the last stick on. Bow. GPS. Stick it over there. Run it up top. And the next thing we got is the USB plug-in where you plug your iPhone in for Apple CarPlay. So you want to drop the glove block. Boy, what the fuck? Man, <laughs> leave, me alive. leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. lopsided. Now we take this in. Now, it's a little tricky to find the hole. All the fellas know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Run up here. Super easy. Pull it right there. Shut it. You can just leave it here. You can make it fancy. You can put it all up in here. We're not doing that. So then you take this, you want to route it right up where you got all your other GPS, antenna, speaker. So the last thing is we got the main harness. So you want to go ahead and take this bit where it's going to go to your screen, route it through here. This is the tricky part. You got to run it all here. Unfortunately, this big fuse box has to go with it. It's like trying to fit a fat bitch in the back of an E92. So once you get this fuse box up here, you want to shove it to the side because fitment becomes a little bit of an issue because of all these damn harnesses in here. Everyone comment. Bring it in, huddle. Listen, ready? When you do these Apple Car plays 90% of people who have bought them off shop webbies and who have issues the issue is this step exactly here so please watch this please I'm begging you you have this green and black fiber cable right here on the OEM connector that goes to the back radio you want to take it out and put it green side up on the outer edge the corner you want to throw it in there till it clicks into place this is the cable that gives you audio if you're having audio issues please check this step please I'm begging you it saves me an email it saves you an email and then you want to take this from the OEM harness and plug it into the other end of your aftermarket harness. Plug it into place, make sure it's good. So we put the car in drive, put the e-brake up. We got our big ass radio that becomes very difficult to pull back in. Just go ahead and plug everything back in, just like normal. So once you get the harness and everything out of the way and you manage to get your radio back in, boom, four Phillips to the dome, get it back in there. Through this back, through this back. So now we're just up top and you wanna go ahead and take this black and white cable and then you wanna plug it into the cable that comes off the speaker into the white and black one. If you have a backup camera installed, just go ahead and plug it into your video in on your new harness. All right, so you're gonna take the first mount and then you wanna take all your little extra connectors that are gonna go to the head unit and you wanna pull them through. So once you get all your cluster fuck of wires pulled through, you wanna go ahead and shove this bracket back in there. It fits super, super snug, so it is gonna give you a little bit of trouble, but it looks good once you get it in there. All right, so at this point in the install, you should have your main power cable, three of these white connectors that go in the back of the screen, and then this antenna and GPS cable right here. Then you wanna take the second bracket, it goes like this, I just want to route all these cables through this one as well. Feels like you're about to tell a spooky story. All right, one time I got. All right. You got to put this trim piece back in before you put this black bracket back in. So you want to route your three white cables through, main power cord, GPS, and antenna cable through. You should have six fiddle cables routed through this part. You want to line up three holes and send the three screws that came with the kit in there to secure it. So you take that thing. All right, then this is the last final step. So you got your big ass flat screen TV. You got your three white connectors, your main power source, antenna, and then GPS. Then you got four holding spots for this. So we got male, 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 female, 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 female. So we go ahead and line it up. Make sure it looks all pretty. And then just scooch it on down. Boom, there she is. Your 55 inch flat screen TV has been installed ready. Boys, look, all my Instagram stories when I post this, we're like, yo, please peel off the seal. And also what's the link? The link is shopwebbies.com. Come on, man. Saw a flash screen your 335. Ready? Here we go. Oh, what the hell? Bada bing, bada boom. So 
know, I haven't played with it too, too much, but there's like a thousand different options. You can pull up like a speedometer, you can pull up all sorts of different gauges. You can mirror links, so you can pull up MHD, you can pull up Netflix, you can pull up YouTube. And the best part, go ahead and plug her in. We got Apple CarPlay. Plug that goddamn green and black wiring, baby, and you'll get like this. I made the song for the Apple CarPlay. Can you fit me in your plans? I like to. All right, so here's one of the options you can do with the mirroring so you can pull up MHD and it's all real time so you can reboost, etc. Like I said, Netflix, YouTube, pretty much anything you have on your phone, you can mirror straight to this. If you put it vertical, it goes vertical on here, but if you put it horizontal, it'll make it nice and big. So, so yeah, that answers all the questions for everyone who hits me up about this big ass Apple CarPlay. I fucking love it. Zero complaints about it. It's awesome. Number one Apple CarPlay head units in the motherfucking country, boy. We got all kinds of options. You don't have to get the big expensive one like I got. You can get the slightly slower one, the slightly smaller one, whatever one you want. We got them. Shop Webby's baby. I like you, I do. We went over to France and we woke up in Japan. I like you, I do.